Hi, my name is Mike Spence. I'm an applications engineer at Go Engineer. In today's quick tip, I'm going to focus on different ways to get image output from SolidWorks. You may need an image for um, just a quick picture for a demonstration or a, a product explanation, um, project review, or to put a picture into uh, some documentation. So the first couple things I want to focus on are just some ways to make uh, the model itself, if you're dealing with a part or assembly, just look a little more interesting. Uh, certainly you have your scenery that you can use, and I'm going to show you a couple things here, but uh, choose a scene that you like, how it generally looks. A couple other things, real view graphics, if your graphics card supports those, they certainly make things look a little more interesting with a little more shine and gloss, uh, and your appearances will look a little more realistic. Shadows in shaded mode, give it a little more depth under the uh, model itself. Uh, perspective is always a great tool to turn on. When we're designing, we usually don't use it, but for an image output, it just makes things look a little more natural. Ambient occlusion is also another option to add additional shadowing around the model that can kind of bring out uh, the contours, especially on products that might have uh, multiple components or um, internal areas that might shadow, I'll zoom in here a little bit, uh, that might shadow more with the ambient occlusion. So you can see how that uh, affects the geometry I'm looking at here. Now I'm going to actually make this look just a little more interesting. I want kind of an exaggerated back end view of this car. Um, and so I'm going to use uh, some perspective settings to exaggerate the perspective. If you go into view, modify, perspective, you can change the observer position. So if you think about your uh, perspective view, the closer you are to an object, the more exaggerated it looks. So if you use values of less than one here, you'll get a very exaggerated perspective, which uh, for the car makes it look a little more interesting. Now, how do we get kind of a picture out of this model? So quick and dirty, I can go to the view menu in SolidWorks and do an image capture. I oftentimes will set this button up to a hotkey so that I can just hit a hotkey on my keyboard and get an image capture. That's almost no different than hitting print screen on your computer. You'll continue to see the same uh, kind of pixelization that you have just displaying on your screen. Now, if you want something a little higher resolution, uh, what you want to focus on is the geometry of the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and close my um, property manager because this does change the way it zooms to fit. So if I zoom to fit now, it'll center the model on the screen uh, without the property manager. And that actually will make a difference here when I go to save out, um, say, a JPEG or a TIFF image. And I'm just going to go to save as and throw this on my desktop here. And in the file type, pick either TIFF or JPEG image, whichever one you prefer. But if you want a higher resolution than just a screen capture, hit the Options button. And you'll notice you'll have a couple options. Screen capture is the default, but you can change this to print capture. Um, if you're using a JPEG, the lower the compression, the better uh, quality the image will look on the output. Set a DPI setting to your desired DPI, and then choose a paper size, or if you're looking for something a specific dimensional size, choose user defined, and enter in the height and width. So I'm going to leave this at an A size landscape image at 300 DPI, and hit OK for my options, and save that out. It takes just a minute more than a print capture, but now it's or than a screen capture, but now it's getting a lot more um, resolution into that image. So here's the image output. Now, one thing you'll notice is that it's kind of clipped on the sides. So you'll have to play with your zoom level since it made this image eight and a half by eleven, uh, that uh, image ratio. I'll need to play with that uh, zoom level to make sure I can get the whole object. But make sure you zoom to fit first to help you um, get the image in there. Um, just to give you an idea, I'll just zoom in here a bit so you can see. 
that it is much higher resolution than the screen capture was off the screen. All right, and in your output type, certainly if you'd rather have just pure white output, uh, you can go for a plain white. Um, if you're going to put it into a document, this makes for a nice um, uh, image option so that you have something that will blend into a white document. Now, if you want something that looks even better, uh, your options are to shift up to the rendering tools. So, for example, um, in your Office products, if you turn on PhotoView 360 and go to the Render Tools tab, there are all kinds of options here for setting up rendering. So, I'm not going to go into detail on that for this quick tip, but if I simply hit Final Render, it's going to use PhotoView 360 and the PhotoView 360 settings uh, to generate a nice rendered image for me based on the current settings. And after it goes through and renders out the model, then you have a nice ray traced rendering that you can save from the final render image window. Uh, so you've got an image you can work with from there, which again gives you a ray, trace, ray traced rendered image rather than just the uh, screen capture image you get from SolidWorks. So this has been Mike Spenz and a couple ideas on how to get higher resolution images out of SolidWorks.